Hello, this is Cho of the Shiny Colors Discord. Welcome to another episode of the Shiny Review. Today, we've got three new cards to talk about. We have the Produce SSR for Chiyuki, alongside the My Songs Collection for Rinze, as well as Toru. Keep in mind that Chiyuki is permanent, while Rinze and Toru are My Songs Collection, meaning that they're sorta limited. They'll come around whenever another My Songs Collection banner is available, but otherwise they will be at an unfeatured rate once this banner is over. So if you want your best opportunities to get any of these three cards, now's the best time to do it. Chiyuki's banner does have the benefit of if you pull her, the first copy will automatically be two stars. It's not the worst thing in the world and is honestly a pretty decent incentive to pull. So do what you will with your jewels. Just understand that we're in December, which is usually the limb rush as we move into the new year. And January has almost always been a big turning point for a lot of teams and how Fess is played. So just keep that in mind as you save up or use any of your gems right now. With that being said, let's talk about Chiyuki. So Chiyuki initially is a visual unit and then at three stars is upgraded to a dance unit. Her initial appeal is a visual 3.0 that heals you by 15% of your mental and any of that healing that does not apply to your health is converted into memory gauge. So if you're at full health, this just raises your memory gauge by 15%. The upgraded version of the appeal is a dance 4.5 that heals you by 25% and any excess is converted into memory gauge. The link appeal on both is a memory gauge boost of 20%. For her passives, her two star passive is a memory gauge 20% up if it is turned to or earlier and you have the full Alstromeria lineup. It has a 40% chance to activate once. Her four star passive is a dance 85% if you run the full Alstromeria lineup and has a 20% chance to activate once. Her memory appeal when maxed out is a dance 60% buff for five turns that links into a dance 4.0 that scales based on how high your current mental is. In other words, the healthier you are, the stronger the appeal will be. The lower your current health is, the weaker it'll be. Chiyuki is... okay. She's purely a memory gauge battery for a full Alstromedia lineup and adds some options to builds that feel that their memory game is maybe a little inadequate. I sort of wish her memory appeal was a little better, but then again, they don't try to put too much power on permanent produce SSRs. Although, I will say I'm very glad that the overheal mechanic that we had seen on limited Alstromeria a really long time ago is now deemed worthy to be on permanent SSRs. I think that that is pretty cool. For my grade, I would give this card a B+. I think that this card is theoretically playable if you are just looking for a card that gives you a bunch of memory gauge. Otherwise, this card is not going to be doing a whole lot for you and is absolutely built to be something used strictly in Alstromeria. Now, on to my songs collection, of course, starting with Rinze. Rinze is a dance unit, which is unfortunate in the sense that I was hoping that she'd be a rainbow unit, but I guess they figured her last card is kind of a rainbow unit. So here we are. Rinze's initial appeal is a dance 2.0 that follows up with a dance maximum 2.5 appeal to all judges. The effect of this appeal strengthens with the number of Hokuda cards in your skill history. And by that I just mean as long as you have cards in your skill history. So not actually Hokuda Reliant, but it's pretty likely you'll be playing this card in Hokuda. So just understand the more characters that are in your skill history, whether that's duplicates of a character or not, as long as that's full, this is going to be doing a lot of damage. The plus appeal, which requires four or more Hokuda members in your skill history, applies a pseudo Daikichi effect, kind of. It lowers the judge's interest by 80% for one turn and raises their interest by 25% for two turns. The intention is that the judges take significantly less damage after you plus appeal, then the following turn they're going to take a lot of damage because you're going to be the one hitting them. The upgraded version of this appeal is a dance 3.0 that follows up with a dance maximum 3.0 AoE scaling based on your skill history, and the plus appeal effect is the same and the requirement is the same. Four or more Hokuda members in the skill history, for a interest down of 80%, followed by interest up 25%. For her passives, her one star passive is a memory gauge gain of 20% if you have the full Hokuda lineup, which has a 30% chance to activate once. Her two star passive is a dance 85% up if it's turned to or earlier and has a 20% chance to activate twice. 
Lastly, her 4-star passive is a dance 120% up if you have 4 or more Hulkrider members in your skill history, and it has a 20% chance to activate twice. Her memory appeal, when maxed out, is a dance 3.0 that links into a dance 3.0. Rinze is honestly really good. While we've leaned very far away from attention up Hokura, especially Dance Hokura, which was almost always cornerstoned by Valentine's Natsuha, this Rinze offers a lot of utility in the same way that My Songs Collection Kaho did for Hokura not too long ago. In fact, you could argue that their plus effects are practically the same in terms of application. Her ability to set up interest bombs before a memory appeal can actively lead to your centers doing a lot more. This is essentially the same philosophy as cards like Choco 5 and Kaho 5, but on a lot less strict timer, which makes it a lot more functional in Fest because it's gotten so much faster nowadays. Her split damage between single target and AoE is cute. I do appreciate the fact that you are technically hitting a dance 6.0 on a single target, while also hitting a 3.0 to all judges, which is nice collateral. And it should scale reasonably well, as long as your duet doesn't spite you with some bad rolls, making it harder to go into your link appeals on your big centers. I think this card very easily earns an A plus to an S minus. This card is insane on Hokura builds, and may even sneak her way into non Hokura builds, but I can't really imagine that's going to work out too well, given the combination of her passives and appeals. So just assume that if you're playing a Rainbow or Dance Hokura build, this Rinze is going to be real good, unless your cornerstone is Twi'Kole Rinze. Finally, then we have Toru, who is a pure vocal unit. It's not too surprising that we got a vocal retrain of Toru 2, but how well does she stack up compared to a first time limited card for Toru? My Songs Collection Toru's first appeal is a vocal 3.0 that raises your reaction, in other words your dodge chance by 15% for 4 turns, and also grants your team one additional mulligan for the rest of the fest. That means that you have the ability to discard one additional card that you would otherwise only have one for because of Knock Chill. Both her appeals have a change appeal, which requires the full Knock Chill lineup, which grants an evasion 20% buff for three turns. The upgraded version of the appeal is a vocal 4.5 that raises your evasion by 30% for four turns, grants one additional mulligan, and the change effect is a evasion 35% up for three turns. For her passives, her one star passive is a memory gauge 20% up that requires the full Knock Chill lineup, has a 30% chance to activate once. Her 2-star passive, which is feeling very familiar, is a vocal 85% up if it's turned to her earlier, 20% chance up to twice. Finally, her 4-star passive is a vocal 130% up and attention 100% up if you have a combination of both attention up and evasion up as active buffs. So as long as you have one evasion and one attention up, this passive can activate, and it has a 50% chance to activate twice. Her memory appeal when maxed out is a vocal max 2.5 that scales based on how much reaction you have that follows up with a vocal maximum 3.5 that scales based on how much attention you have. My Songs Collection Toru is... odd. She more or less requires you run Koito 5 as your vocal card as opposed to your center, and leads to some more unfortunate situations where you just don't hit hard enough for it to really matter. As it turns out, Toru 2 being able to buff your vocal by up to 300% if you are able to get proper evasions after using her appeal pays off much more than just stacking up reaction up for very little payoff. I think in concept she looks like a decent-ish card, and if we get more knock chill cards for vocal that specifically scale based on how high your reaction is, this could pay off thanks to the change appeals, but I think in practice Toru 2 is still going to be the preferred card for vocal knock chill going forward unless a drastic shift in the team build happens in the coming weeks or months. I think this card earns a relatively safe B-. I was contemplating C+, but I don't think that she's necessarily the worst card to be playing. I think this card is in fact playable, but definitely not the thing you want to be focusing around the most. If you have to compete between this card and Tordor 2, focus on Tordor 2. So, that will do it for the video today. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. Next time we'll be talking about whatever banner comes next. We may even have some extra things we'll be doing in the coming times. Things are going to be changing over here for me personally that might make shiny colors a little bit easier to handle in some other aspects. 
So, till the next video, I've been Cho, thanks for watching, have a wonderful rest of your day.